What's up guys, welcome along to Arsenal Fan TV and we've just lost 2-0 to Southampton at St Mary's. Probably the worst possible, well probably, there's no probably about it, it is the worst possible way that we could have started 2015. I'm left leaving this game feeling incredibly frustrated, depressed and it's just the feeling of same old, same old of Arsenal. We're yet again failing to get any consistency within the team. After two wins against the likes of QPR and West Ham respectively, we had an opportunity to get three wins in a row, which we haven't even done all season, which is embarrassing in itself. Not even got three wins in a row. We had a great opportunity to do that today. Considering Man United had dropped points at Stoke, we could have gone one point behind them, but we've left today with nothing to our name, which is quite frankly, what we deserve. We deserve absolutely nothing from this game. Outclassed by Southampton, who coped without the likes of Schneidlin and Nathaniel Klein incredibly well. They taught us a lesson, a lesson today. And like I said, we come out of this game with nothing to our name, which, exact, which is exactly what we deserve. Looking at the way we lined up, we started with what is our strongest back four. And we were embarrassed today by the likes of Mane, Pele, um, Pella and Tadic. They... We just look lost, absolutely lost at the back, and a poor, poor um, display from Vojtech Shedding today. And you know, this is the area of his game. His decision making and judgment is so off point at times, so off point. I think we really saw the good and the bad sides of Shedding today. His shot stopping is immaculate, one of the best in the league at doing it, in my opinion. But his decision making is what separates him from the likes of Hugo Lloris, Courtois, David De Gea, because it is so poor. For that first goal that we conceded, he was. So off point, and I'll get onto that a little bit later. But looking at the way that we lined up in this game, like I said, started with our back four of Debushi, Mertzak, Koscielny, and Gibbs. The Mertzak was probably average at best, and that's he that he was. You know, I can't even pick out any defender that was good for us today. I, I can't because I don't think I think that whole back line as a four. Wenger says going into the game that you've got to judge the back four as as a line. Like you've got to judge them all together. You can't pick out individuals as a line. They were shocking today, to say the very least. So that's an area for concern. If that's our strongest back four and we're playing like that, making sloppy defensive errors, our goalkeeper's not performing, incredibly concerning. When we come up against a team that can boast like a Diego Costa, Sergio Aguero up top, then we will be embarrassed. And it could have been 4 or 5 nil today to Southampton. They were a bit more clinical in the final third than we would have been absolutely embarrassed. And I think, you know, we have a right to be embarrassed anyway because... We were shown up today, absolutely shown up. I mean, I don't think our attacking performance did us any justice whatsoever. I mean, we didn't line up with a proper striker to our name. I mean, we started Alexis Sanchez as the front man, where I personally don't think he has as big an impact on the game. And we failed to have a target man, because whenever we're throwing balls into the box, we haven't got any, anyone with sufficient height to get on the end of them. And that was a constant reoccurring thing without, throughout the game. No plan B, which is something that we're consistently seeing game after game after game when we get into a position where we, we fail to instigate any momentum into the game. And it's just same old, same old frustrating performances from Arsenal. And like I was saying, the way we lined up, we started with Francis Coquelin, who kept his place in the team, which I was really glad to see because um, I fought against West Ham, he had a really good defensive game, and I thought he could brought that into, into, into uh, today's game. And if I'm being honest, I thought he was probably our best player on the pitch. We also saw Callum Chambers starting a defensive midfield role. I thought he coped with it relatively well, but I still think his best position, in my opinion, is a centre-back. I just think he's got the build for that. And as a 19-year-old, I think, you know, it's an untested pivot, Coquelin and Chambers, and throwing them in at the deep end like that, I think it was going to, always going to be difficult. And I don't think they had the best of games. Well, obviously they didn't have the best of games because we were so exposed in that area of the pitch. I just think, although they are great squad players, don't get me wrong, I do think Callum James, at 19 years of age, is doing immaculately. And I think Coquelin as well, he's got a lot of pressure on him after coming back from Charlton. I think he's doing really well. But as it stands, I think they are quality players to have in and around the squad. We can't be consistently starting with these players week in, week out. And... I do feel a bit sorry for Wenger because what's he meant to do? I mean, we've got so many players out injured. I mean, I mean, we we missed the likes of Meza Ozil, um, Aaron Ramsey, and Mikel Arteta. We missed the spine of our team massively because we have no we have no significance in the middle of the park because we're so overrun by the likes of Wanyama. It was men against boys at times. It really was. It was so easy for the likes of Wanyama and Davis throughout the course of the game. It was really really poor showing from us. And the only Real thing that I think looked exciting today was our forward line, where we had the likes of Alex Oxlade Chamberlain, who I thought had a pretty poor game today, Alexi Sanchez and Thomas Rosicki. Rosicki, after a really good game against QPR, I think he had a good opening 30 minutes or so, but really dropped off after that. Maybe that's due to his age, maybe he can't keep up with the pace of the game, but 
You know, there were, there, it's hard to pick out any players going forward that really excited me, apart from Alexis Sanchez, who consistently uh, works tirelessly, and he was doing so much defensive work in this game. I mean, where are our defensive midfielders? Where's the likes of Francis Cochran and Chambers? I mean, there was a point in the game, especially, I think it was for their second goal, that um, Alexis Sanchez is having to track back to the middle of the park to defend, to cover for other players. We push so high up the pitch at times. We overcommit, you know, in the best times. It's absolutely ridiculous. And my expectation for this game realistically was a draw. I'd have been happy coming out of this game with a draw, especially after going a goal down. And the goal we conceded was just epitomised how poor defensively we are this season. And considering that's our strongest back four was incredibly concerning. And it's kind of a case of when Koscielny doesn't play well, the whole back line doesn't play well. Koscielny certainly didn't have the best of games today. He failed to track, he did track Mane, but he failed to really slow him down. And it was... I don't know what Chesney was doing. Honestly, our first choice keeper making such... He didn't need to come out. He really did not need to come out. I think Koscielny had him covered at that point. He'd got him to the byline. And Chesney just comes out of nowhere. And at that point, it left us in such a difficult scenario. And Mane, just quality goal from Mane. Quality, quality goal. Can't take that anything away from him. And uh, we go 1-0 down. Awful from Chesney. He kind of justified himself after that by making an excellent save against Ward-Prowse. Uh, but then again, it was just... For a professional keeper to be doing that, it's, it's like League 2 standard stuff. It was so, so, so poor. And then in the second half, conceding again, this goal was this goal was a poor one to concede. It was shocking defending yet again and more mistakes from Wojciech Szczesny powering the ball right into the path of Duzan Tadic who made absolutely no mistake in rifling it into the back of the net. At 2-0, the game is pretty much over. And the real concern is that makes me think and expect that is that there is no fire back from us whatsoever. The only player with his head held high is Alexi Sanchez. Everyone else looks disinterested in the game. There's no pace in it. There's no plan B. And we just look lost, absolutely lost for a majority of that second half. And I failed to see us getting back into it at 2-0 down, which is really, really worrying. Something has to change, really does have to change at some point because we're not getting any consistency under our belt whatsoever. Yeah, I do think a lot of it is down to injuries, but then again, the mentality has to change. There seems to be a real lack of leadership within the squad. Mertzacker isn't being any, as our captain for the day, wasn't commanding at all, and Chesney wasn't commanding his box whatsoever. Really, really concerning on that front, and a lot of other problems as well. I mean, the fact that we're still trying to do tick attack of football, etc., when we're trying to get a goal back any in any way, shape, or form, just trying to play out the arsenal, we have to look for a different option. We have to look for a different a different let out because it's it's not working for us at the moment. Something really does have to change quite quickly. And I think we do have to assert our problems um, and certainly amend ourselves in this transfer window. But that's not going to solve all of our problems at the moment. I think some, a lot of it comes down to the management, certainly. Uh, injuries, to an extent, comes down to the management. I do think it was very difficult for Wenger today when trying to field his midfield because Thomas Rosicki, Francis Coquelin and Chambers, I think having them in the midfield, I personally don't think that's good enough. I really don't think that's good enough when we go to Southampton, a team who, you know, might, we, we should be beating them. With our first choice 11, I do think away from home, considering they're about Klein and Schneidlin, I would be expecting us to beat them. Considering we had so many injuries today, my expectation for the game was a draw. And considering that lineup, it was a, my expectation was incredibly uh, inclined to be a draw. And considering we've lost it, we've shown a lack of fire, really frustrating to see. But relating back to my point, Coughlin and Chambers and Rosicki, excellent squad players to have in and around the team. They've got uh, Rosicki, especially, he's got experience. Coughlin puts in a very good shift. I think, he, like I said, he was probably our best player today. And Callum Chambers is a very good developing player. But they're not good enough to be consistently starting for us. And I know that this was an untested pivot today, but it's just, it's, it's weak. They were completely uh, overshadowed by the likes of Steven Davis and Victor Wanyama, and it really epitomised how we lack authority and commanding figures within the side. And it's just, it's just frustrating to see how easily we are overrun in a lot of areas of the pitch. And that defensive display today has to be improved upon. It just shows the lack of consistency we've got. After what I regarded as a very good defensive display against West Ham United, with our strongest back four, we failed to emulate that today against Southampton. So easily beaten today, so easily beaten. That's the most frustrating thing about it. We have to look to our next game against Hull City in the, in the FA Cup. Make things right, which, um, how do we make things right? Where does this leave us going into 2015? I mean, we've spurred defeating Chelsea today in their 5-3 result. They're above us by a point. You've got um, United, who have increased the gap by going uh, four points ahead of us. You've got Southampton, and uh, they're three points ahead of us. And if West Ham were to have hold, held on to their lead against West Brom today, they'd also be above us. So potentially, we could have finished today in seventh. 
fortunately, it's not so bad, and we're in six. Six. <laughs> Brilliant. And, um, you know, it's not it's not looking great at the moment. We do have to get some consistency within the team. We've got a big game against Hull City, like I said. Our most realistic chance of winning a trophy this season. But uh, we can only look forward from now. It's the worst possible start to 2015. Lots of things have to change. Wenger has to look to plan B's. He has to change the mentality of the side. And we've got to reinforce this month. We've got a lot of players coming back from injury. And our, the rest of our season will be defined on the likes of Musa Ozil, Arteta and Aaron Ramsey staying fit. And who we bring in this transfer window. But anyway guys, those have been my thoughts on our 2 defeats to Southampton at St Mary's. If you've enjoyed the video, give it a like, rate and subscribe to Arsenal Fan TV. Check out my own channel, AFC Game by Game. Have a happy new year guys, if that's still possible. And I'll speak to you soon.